you guys welcome back to my channel today as you can see by the title we are unboxing a Anya figure from spy family I absolutely adore Anya she is the cutest she's the cutest little girl ever I love her so freaking much and I'm so happy that I have this figure right here with me because this figure from photos that I've seen is like really really good quality and it's not even a scale figure but it's got it's like I've seen like scale figures that have less detail than this 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 Anya figure we're about to unbox so I'm super excited about that I think this is like an Ichiban Kuji figure and the first time it released it was like super hard to find super rare and then uh, it ended up releasing a second time and it was kind of honestly kind of expensive for it not being a scale figure but honestly when I saw this Anya figure and I compared it to like the other Anya figures out there that exist I think this is the best one by far like this is the best Anya figure so I kind of justified it and I kind of went for it and I'm so 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 excited to unbox it so again this is not a scale figure this is an Ichiban Kuji and it's a block calendar figure as well so this is the Anya figure there are two different versions of this figure there is one where she's wearing wearing her original like black dress and there's another one where she's wearing a teal dress I went with the original I think both of them are super cute though uh, but I typically like going with like the OG outfits I feel like that's like I, I don't know I, I, I just like it better I don't know sue me um but without further ado let's get started please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this figure in the comment section below also um if you like any of the other Anya figures out there or like spy family figures out there in general in general <sighs> I'm a little too excited um let me know which ones you like I I really do like this other one where she's sitting with your and I really really want that one but a the price is super expensive and then b i kind of really would have liked it if since yours is there i would have liked it if like lloyd was there too just like the entire family i don't know why they opted out of putting lloyd in there but they did um i still really like it I can, and i kind of like go back every now and then and think about it still like from the photos the prototype photos i think like yours sweater is the texture looks so cool if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for textures and figures. I absolutely adore the texture going on on her shirt. But um, yeah, the price is kind of pushing me back. I think like it was, I don't, I don't remember how much it was, but it was, it was pricey. Um, but anyways, anyways, um, let's go ahead and unbox this. I forgot my exacto knife to cut this. So let me grab that. Okay. Oh, I guess I should show you the box too. The box is a super cute little pastel yellow and it's got like these adorable toy patterns going on. That's how the figure looks. I guess it's got some putting together to do, uh, but yeah, that's it. Very simple, but very, very adorable. I love this cute little design. Here we go. Oh, oh look at that. There's like a big folded plastic sheet behind her. Okay, so the figure comes as a piece like this with her and her little lion. I, I forget her lion's name, if it even had a name. I don't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> Been a while. And then it comes with, it comes with the little block calendars. Uh, so it has like, these are just numbers, right? And then there's another one that has more numbers. And then um, we have days of the week. And these are like very hollow they're very very light and then these are this is these are months so i'm i wonder how these go together there's no instructions that come with these on how to uh, put them on her but i think from this from just looking at this little diagram i think um you just lay them on top of her which i don't know if i really like that just because they'll easily like fall off if that's the case uh, but we'll see we'll see we'll see how it turns out and then we have like we have like the main blister box and then we have a, like a second tier where we've got a hat we've got a little hat I 
don't remember, but I think this kind of looks like Lloyd's hat, right? Am I, am I, am I making something up here? Am I making this up? Is this Lloyd's hat? I'm pretty sure this is Lloyd's hat. Although I remember Lloyd's hat being a little lighter, so I don't really know. Um, and then we have, what is this? I don't know what, is this supposed to be another hat? Does she wear this hat? Is this a hat that she wears? Right? Right? I think this is a hat she, I could be pulling all this out of my ass, but I think this is a hat she wears too. So we, so we got all the pieces out, basically. So let's try to put her together, and then we will talk about what I think about this figure. What do I want the day of the week to stay at? We'll do a Saturday and Sunday. We'll leave it at a Saturday and Sunday. Oh my God, we should do my birthday. Uh, we'll just do Saturday, Sunday, because I don't know what day I was born. Um, we'll do November and we'll do the 25th. So here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm, I put it together and then I tried lifting it up and it's, it's not working. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to B-roll and then we are going to talk about this. So first up, I'm going to say, I don't like the fact that all of these pieces are loose. The two hats and then the four little calendar blocks. I wish there was like a magnet or like a better way to place these. Maybe like a little like tiny peg that you can push the little accessories through. I mean, the corners of the calendar blocks have holes on each corner, so I don't know why I don't know why they're there if they're not going to be of any use. But again, the calendar blocks could probably be optional, but I feel like the hats are a really cute touch to the entire figure. And I, I feel like it justifies the size of the base more too, even though the size of the base is perfect, but it makes the figure look more full and it, it makes it feel like there's even more stuff falling out of the suitcase that she's sitting on top of. Shading and whatnot, honestly, for something that's not a scale figure, like when I saw people on online unboxing this figure i thought it was a scale figure so <laughs> do with that information what you will i think this is a fantastic like this is fantastically detailed for something that is not a scale figure like if you look super super closely you can see some imperfections like her hair is a little roughly painted on at the tips and her little doll on the back especially and on the wings there's a little bit of rough paint work on there as well and then i do think overall like the pink in her hair i feel like could be a little bit brighter but honestly i think there's so much going on here that you kind of don't really notice it all that much just because look how cute she is i don't think i think her cuteness and the, the adorable lively setting going on here outweighs like the very 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 minor issues it is adorable they nailed her face she looks so cute i love her expression um another thing i don't know what i, I i'm guessing this is a hat this blue thing um but if it is a hat, it's kind of a little weird to me how, I'm just gonna say this is Lloyd's hat over here. It's kind of weird to me how this is like so much more detailed than this one. This is like a, this looks like a blue frisbee or something. Like, I don't know what, is it a dog bowl? I'm an idiot, you guys. I think it's a dog, <laughs> I think it's a dog bowl for Bond. Okay, so, but still, detail. Wait, really, did he have this, is this, this is really a dog dog bowl. Why? What is a dog bowl doing in the suitcase? Have we have we questioned this before? Somebody please tell me what this is. I'm driving myself crazy now. Okay. Anyways, the best way I can describe this figure in one word is fun. 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 The way the figure is placed on the base is actually pretty cool too. Like the suitcase is like, like it cuts through the peg, which is not even really a peg. It's like this huge big brick thing. It's pretty unique, I guess. I don't have a figure like this at all. Even like the color of the base is super nice, which I honestly, I really didn't even consider or like think about till now, but I do really like it. It kind of goes with the briefcase. Uh, I don't know if I would have liked it better if this like peg or whatever the hell this is that's connecting the figure to the base if I would have liked it more if it was the same color as the base instead of just this like white 
plastic. I, I Maybe it would have blended better if it was the same color of the base or maybe the same color of the briefcase, but probably the base better. But I still think this is a phenomenal figure. Like I am, I was so scared that I would have had to put this on a holy grail list so soon just because of how high the aftermarket prices were. And I'm so happy because I've been wanting a spy family figure uh, since I watched season one and I just, I couldn't find the perfect one. Every time I tried to like justify a different one that that's come out before, my mind always comes back to this one and it's like, no, this is the perfect one. And it's not even a scale. That's, I, I know I keep saying it, but like this is not a scale and it's like insanely good and I'm so happy that I have it. I really, really hope that one day we can get a good scale with the whole family together. I mean, this series has gotten some atrocious looking figures. I mean, it is criminal. Like they did them so dirty. There's like this one Lloyd figure that comes to mind and he looks absolutely horrendous. I, if I can find it, I will try to find it and put it up here. And it makes me so upset because why are you doing my man Lloyd like that? That is insane. That is criminal. You need to go to jail. I don't know why. There are just some characters that figure companies can, just cannot get right. Uh, I think Makima from Chainsaw Man is another one that people just can't get right. Anyways, I'm rambling on right now. I am... <laughs> I cannot wait to film a b-roll for her. She's just so cute. I really, really like how the back of the suitcase isn't just plain and brown. It's got like this um, like pocket on the back of it where they could have just ultimately skipped that and just made it like plain. Cause like, honestly, who would, who would care? But they added some fabric in it and it's got like folds too. I mean, how cool is that for an Ichiban Kuji? Oh my God. <laughs> I will scream it to the rooftops. Oh, it's so cute. She's so cute. I love Anya so much. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, that was the Anya figure from Spy Family. The best Anya figure so far, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. Um, but again, let me know in the comment section below what you think of her or um, if you think there's another Anya figure that is much more superior to her and I. It doesn't have to be a scale, it could be a scale, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let me know. I would, I would love to know. Suddenly I forgot how to end my videos. I will see you in the next video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.